Race, rage, and insane. Bicycle kicks to the hitch are harder than little canes. I see it struggling. Just let the hands go. And if not, you get my one round KO. Get back, get back, it's my one round KO. Hard hits, I split some elbows. Get back, get back, it's my one round KO. You never know what you might be dealing with. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Just like earlier, all fights tonight are going to follow the United MMA rules. No kicks or knees to the back of the head of a ground opponent. No strikes to the spine or to the back of the head. This man, Brent Glass, making his way from Fredericksburg, Virginia, representing uh, Troy Stone. He, uh, We saw him in the main event of Victorium Episode 2 take... Well, here we go, Brandon. As you said, Brett Glass. Last time we saw Brett Glass, he lost to Brent Primus in Bellator MMA 109, but he beat Jeffrey Patterson in Victorium Episode 2. So you know he's definitely been well-rounded. He's fought everywhere, but tonight he's fighting here in Episode 3, Victorian, presented by Global Proven Ground. He's got he's a well-rounded fighter, great stand-up, excellent on the ground. This should be another epic contest on our 10th fight here tonight, Brandon. Brett Glass is not exactly a man of many words. He lets his actions inside of the cage do all of his talking. He is a very smart fighter, a very determined fighter, and that makes him a very dangerous man. Like I said, his opponent is definitely, uh, like I said, he doesn't care who he has to fight. He'll fight anybody anywhere he let me know. But like I said, he's been known. I, I give him the unofficial name, the Quiet Warrior, because like, like you said, he's a man of few words, and his actions speak louder. Like I said, the 10th fight of the night, what a night of fighting. I can't wait for this to begin. We've still got a co-main event and a main event, Matthew Stone. But I tell you what, this, this fight right here should be main event quality. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, our tale of the tape. The differences between these two men, pretty evenly matched. A little bit of height advantage goes to Jonathan Hughes, and just about the same as experience. A little bit uh, more wins there for the part of Brett Glass. But again, like I was saying earlier, we saw this man and Tony Horn fight on all three Victorium cards before. And now tonight on Victorium episode three, presented by the Global Proving Ground. And once again, we're coming to you from the Aberton Roarton Club Fairgrounds in Gloucester Point, Virginia. Again, just across from historic Yorktown, Virginia and the York River. I know John the Scarecrow Hughes hasn't had a lot of fights, but he's definitely one of my favorite fighters. Alluding to what you said earlier, he beat Roy Sanders, who we saw her earlier tonight in episode one of Victorium. In episode two, he beat David Perez. So apparently on episodes of Victorium, watch out for Jonathan Hughes. Jonathan Hughes is definitely undefeated when it comes to Victorium fights. And again, in Victorium episode three, presented by the Global Proven Ground, I'm sure he's going to try to expand that record. Well, when you fight, for, when you come from the MMA Academy, once again, they do nothing but pump out top-notch, well-rounded fighters. We spoke to him earlier. He doesn't care if the fight's on his feet. He doesn't care if the fight's on the ground. He doesn't care if the fight's out in the crowd in the parking lot. He's just ready to get it done here tonight. Once again, Big Todd McGovern, our third man in the ring, our official. All of the fights tonight are sanctioned by the Virginia Boxing Fight Commission. Both these men, like I said, excellent, well-rounded fighters. This should be another epic fight. Uh, like I said, these fans and ourselves and everybody watching has had some of the greatest fighting that's been done so far. Here goes Todd McGovern. Let's do this. 
I'm definitely interested to see again John Hughes an excellent fighter of his own in his own right but Brett Glass very smart very determined and a very athletic individual it should be an interesting interesting contest that's right both fighters Hughes and Scare and Glass excuse me lightning quick known for their counter punching as you can see Scarecrow is definitely I would say the better kicker of the two but like I said both men is oh is he oh it, oh and a low blow early on in this fight Matthew Stone Brett Glass instructed to go to a neutral corner as Todd McGovern checks on the downed scarecrow Jonathan Hughes yeah you hate to see it but you know it wasn't intentional that's why we wear cups in this business folks to protect because he would if he did not have a cup right now it'd be totally severe more damage but like I said the cup doesn't prevent all the pain it just prevents permanent damage from being done exactly right Matthew Stone and definitely you can't look at that face and tell me that he is not in some kind of pain he is wincing he is squeezed and he is definitely trying to to get some some feeling not back but some feeling gone from that area my goodness and once again you have to think this may play into the mind of Brett Glass knowing that he's already done a, a accidental low blow it might change the way he throws a kick but once you're in there fighting with another opponent it's easy to kick a bag all day long it's easy to kick mats when you have somebody that's moving and blocking and fighting you back is definitely hard. Jonathan Hughes back to his feet now. Looks like we're going to resume the action of our opening round of this 10th contest here at Victorium Episode 3, presented by the Global Proving Ground. Jonathan, the Scarecrow Hughes, seems to be on face with a huge. He, he grabs him right by the waist and drives him with authority into that cage, Matthew Stone. Yeah, I think that, that kick might have lit a fire under the Scarecrow, but as you can see, Brett Glass, like I said, excellent wrestling from both men. So we might be stuck with a stalemate, but Hughes looks like the lengthier fighter. He could be able to, he might be able to throw that knee to the chin from that position which is a devastating maneuver definitely Jonathan Hughes with a two or three uh, inch height advantage over his opponent Brett Glass but Brett Glass again a very smart competitor trying to keep Jonathan Hughes pinned up against the cage now Jonathan Hughes reverses it and has got Brett Glass pinned up against the cage that's right he definitely has the double on hooks right there I uh, see a foot stomp a little. We got a couple knees right here. This is definitely this will be called feeling out process. Both men trying to jockey for position, doing the cage tango. And once again, we have another reversal from Glass. Both men's balance is great. All, both men can reverse at will, it seems like. We have a body lock by Scarecrow. We have nice inside knees right there from Glass. And like, don't let his nickname fool you. He isn't fragile. He is like a freight train. I would have to tend to agree, Matthew Stone, and definitely, like you said, the way he took on Jeffrey Patterson at Victorian Episode 2. That was a crucial knockout and some beautiful knees and elbows we saw to finish that fight. But again, we can't take any away from this man, the Scarecrow, Jonathan Hughes. He comes to fight. He brings the ruckus every time. Did you see how he, caught, he got hit by the front kick, bounced off the cage, and used the momentum to throw a head kick? But he slipped a little bit right there. Glass immediately capitalizes it. He's in the half guard of the Scarecrow. Let's see if the Scarecrow's been working on a submission game. Because if there's one knock on the Scarecrow, he needs, he needs to improve his submissions. Well, definitely Brett Glass is going to test those his submission defense. I'm sure of that. Again, with uh, the way that uh, Jonathan Hughes trains at oh, Disciple Omar, MMA, Omar he could be going for that, Matthew Stone. It looks like Brett Glass is strong enough to pick him up while he's got him in the armbar and fight out of it, Matthew Stone. That was impressive. Yeah, that was a tight armbar there. I mean, you can see full extension on the armbar there. He had, the, you know, he had all the hips into it, but Brett Glass picked him up and that, that allowed him to shimmy out of that armbar and escape it. Nice technique there, but now he's in the open guard of the Scarecrow. As you can see, Brett Glass is trying to push him up against the cage to limit the amount of submissions and defenses you can use. Going for the armbar again, wow. Just over 60 seconds left in this first round of this con the, our 10th contest of Victorian Episode 3. Brett Glass in the red, white, and blue trunks. We've got Jonathan Hughes in the black and red. And we've got Brett Glass with Jonathan Hughes pressed up against the cage and trying to, like you said, Matthew Stone, limit his escape routes as he delivers that crucial ground and pound and short elbows. Oh, nice short cutting elbows right to the chin and cheek of the Scarecrow right now. This is not where the Scarecrow wants to be. He's, as you see, Glass has him right where he wants him. He's trying to push him up against the cage. He's going for a third armbar right here. He's definitely been working on his Oh, armbar. look at that oh. grounded pound. Oh. I think Jonathan Hughes is out. Oh, my goodness. Oh. He is out, Matthew Stone. Tom McGovern calls a call uh, uh, into this contest. Brent Glass has knocked out Jonathan Hughes on the ground. 
I have not seen that in a long time. I'm astonished. Ladies and gentlemen, we said that this could be a main event fight, and I think it was just that. My goodness, listen to the crowd's response. That was a great, great fight here at Victorian Episode 3, presented by the Global Proving Ground. That's right. They call Brett Glass unbreakable for a reason. Got John Hughes up against the cage and just, just dropped the thunder and the lightning on him. Hughes went out. Referee smartly stopped him to prevent further damage for the fighter. Hughes didn't know where he was. He tried to attack. Uh, he tried to fight the ref right there. Total giveaway that he was out. So it's a great, it's a good stoppage. Hughes realizes it, and Brett Glass gets a victory here tonight. That's right, and Brett Glass is going to improve his record to four and one. As unfortunately, Jonathan Hughes is going to fall to two and four. But still, we're looking to see both of these competitors in just a few months for Victorian Episode Four. Our medical examiner checking out uh, Jonathan Hughes, making sure all the cobwebs have cleared. That's right, fighter safety is our number one priority right here. We want both men to go home and fight again another day. And we're wanting to fight another get day on Victorian episode three. And I can't believe, Matthew Stone, all this action we've had here tonight, and we've still got two more fights to come. As you can hear, the fans appreciate good fighting, which is all we give you here in Global Proving Ground in Victorian. Congratulations, my friend. We're going to see you again very soon. Everybody, let's give it up for Brett Glass. 